In this free sample of our Garmin 43530 InRoute app, as in all of our products, we use real HD in-flight video to show you how to effectively set up and use the GPS for both IFR and VFR flight, including practical in-route techniques, departure and arrival procedures, and more, all conducted during an actual cross-country flight. We keep simulation and animation to a minimum, so you can watch the video, take the quiz, then fly the real thing in the airplane. We don't use any fillers that waste your time, just what you need to do and how to do it. We've created two separate 45-minute Garmin apps, so visit our website at flighttrainingapps.com for more information. We are now going to call clearance delivery for our IFR clearance, previously filed to Palm Springs International Airport. Okay, Cherokee 883 November, clear to the Palm Spring Airport via the Pogi 2 departure, Julie in transition, Victor 208, thermal, direct, I'm in maintain 8000, expect 9000, 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency 125.15, clock 4715. Now it's time to set up our GPS to fly the clearance we received, including the POGI 2 SID, meaning Standard Instrument Departure. First, we'll press the PROC key, scroll down to select Departure, and press Enter. Scroll down to the POGI 2 Departure, press Enter, and then select the Julian Transition, which is the Julian VOR the last waypoint of the SID, and press Enter. Then enter again. This loads the procedure. This takes us to the flight plan page, where we will press the big knob to activate the cursor, and scroll down to the bottom row using the big knob, then using the small and big knobs, add the remaining waypoints to our flight plan. When you first turn the small knob in either direction, it defaults to K which is used for airport identifiers. However, by continuing to turn the small knob, you can enter the first letter of any waypoint, such as a VOR or GPS waypoint, that may be part of your flight plan. For our flight plan today, we will enter the Thermal VOR, TRM. After TRM has been added, press Enter. Since the thermal VOR is the last in route waypoint needed, we will now enter KPSP, our destination, so that later on, when we know which arrivals and approach we will use, they can be loaded and activated using the PROC key. Now we will save our flight plan to the flight plan catalog. This allows us to retrieve the same flight plan on a future flight and also have the option to reverse the flight plan for our trip back. To save the flight plan, press the menu key while on the flight plan page and scroll down to copy flight plan. Press enter and enter again to store the flight plan in a numbered sequence. If we want to retrieve this or any other stored flight plan in the future, Simply press the flight plan key, turn the small knob one click to the right, press the big knob to activate the cursor, and using the big knob scroll down to select the appropriate flight plan. Press menu and select activate flight plan. By pressing the menu key, another option is to invert the flight plan, which is often useful when you wish to return using the same route in reverse. Let's do one final thing before takeoff, which is to set a fuel reminder. Since we are flying a low-wing aircraft, we want to be reminded to change fuel tanks every 30 minutes. To do this, from the number one nav screen, turn the big knob two clicks to the right to the AUX page. Activate the cursor, scroll down to Scheduler, and press Enter. 
Next, using the small and big knobs, enter the message we want to appear in the reminder. In this case, we will enter Switch Fuel Tanks. Then, when finished, press Enter. Press the small knob one click to the right, then using the big knob, select Periodic, and press Enter. Then, using the small and big knobs, enter 30 minutes, and when finished, press Enter. Finally, press the big knob to stop the cursor blinking and return to the number one nav screen. As a reminder, the message notification can mean several things, including a scheduled message, such as a reminder to switch fuel tanks, a reminder that you are nearing airspace if this was set up from the AUX page, or a reminder to set the OBS bearing course on the VOR or HSI to agree with the desired track of the GPS. Once this agreement is achieved, the message notification is extinguished. Some autopilots will only function correctly if the OBS course and the GPS desired track are in agreement. To find out what the message notification means, simply press the message key.